Hello viewers, in this tutorial we are going to take a look at how to install Node.js on Windows machine. Currently I have Windows 7 with 64 bit version installed on this machine. The first step is to go ahead and download the Node.js MSI package from an official Node.js.org website. So the latest version of the Node.js is version 4.6.0. Click on this download button to get start to get started with the download. I have already downloaded this file, so I'm not going to download it once again. So the next step once you download is to install the Node.js in your local machine. Double click on the MSI package and then this will bring up a setup wizard of Node.js. This is a pretty straightforward installation where you just have to follow the instructions which is written in the wizard. Click on next, check the license agreement, select the particular path where you have to install. By default select all the modules, click on next and then click on install. So this is going to take a minute and then we'll come back once the installation is finished. So the Node.js installation is finished and it successfully installed. So in order to verify if it has been properly installed, you can click on the start menu, go to all programs and then you should find node.js folder. Click on the node.js exe file. This will bring up a node.js terminal window. You can execute, you can write a simple JavaScript program which will give you the result to test if the node.js is properly installed or not. I'm going to write a console.log which will just print a message hello world. Console.log hello world and as you can see it is printing the hello world properly. The second step to verify it if it is installed properly is to create a web server and then test it. So I have already written a blog on this on how to test the web server of node.js. I'm going to copy the code. I'll, I'll put the link in the description window. You can just go ahead and copy paste the same code and then paste it in the window. Click on enter. Now I have created an HTTP server where I could run this. As you can see, I'm just printing hello world in my application. So the code is pretty straightforward. I'm going to create an HTTP.create server which will create a server and it will read a response which prints the message hello world and then the port I have binded is 8080. So when I type 127.0.0.1 colon 8080, I'm going to get the same message. Hello world. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe to this channel for more videos. Have a good day.